Hi, welcome everybody, it's Mike Newton here at Lytham Golf Academy. I've got a driving iron to review today and it's the PXG 0311X iron. Okay, so this was maybe released a couple of months ago. Um, so obviously the PXG do three models of irons. They've now introduced a driving iron here, which I believe comes in a one iron, which are very rare um, items nowadays, but a one iron, two iron, three iron, four iron, and I think think a five iron as well. So it's obviously a long iron um, sort of club this and it's a it, PXG claim it's a very low spinning golf club. So it's probably that replacement club for off the tee. You know, if you always want to try and to find fairway, it's maybe a tight hole. Obviously an iron help, generally helps you control the ball a little bit better, uh, a bit more control, but very low spinning. So it's good. we're probably gonna see maybe a lower ball flight maybe a bit of run happening on here. So I'm quite interested to see how this performs um, because obviously I'm a long iron guy, I have a Shrixen uh, U45 uh, two iron in my bag and this is a two iron that I'm gonna test today. So I'm really intrigued to sort of see how this performs because I love hitting sort of two iron, I use it a lot off a tee, you know, more per sort of positional, trying to find fairways a little bit more. Driver I'm not quite as accurate with so I always, do tend to drop back to two ounces. So again, I'm going to be really interested to see how this performs. Again, it's the hollow design that PXG obviously do in all their irons, so it's filled with that uh, thermoplastic elastomer in there. Um, obviously, it's forged in there. Now, we're seeing sort of a, quite a wide sole on here. So again, as you would expect with a lot of these driving irons now, the sole sort of beefed up a little bit, a little bit more. But what PXG have done here is put the CG quite low and forward. So again, that's going to create a low launch and a low spin number. So this is something I'm going to really look, maybe look at here is the spin number and see how low it is and maybe look at the peak height of its ball flight. Uh, and maybe see how this would fit into types of golf courses, whether it's windy, more parkland or whatever. Um, and maybe also to see where on the golf course this iron would come in. Would, would this be an iron that you could hit into a green or is it more sort of just off the tee? Okay, so we've got GC2 HMT set up here. I'm going to have a little look, uh, hit a few shots, and maybe just mix up the shots a little bit as well, and maybe hit some sort of high ball flights, low ball flights, some stingers in there. Okay, see if uh, see if we can manipulate ball flight quite easily with the uh, with this PXG two iron. Right. Okay. So um, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what it looks like. I present that down by the golf ball there, and. It, it, it looks really, really nice. I think it's very little offset there, just small offset. Um, now we do see the, the back of the club sticking out above that top edge. So if that's something that might put you off, then you might not like the look of it. I personally don't mind it because I, it, it fills me a little bit of confidence that I've got a bit of, sort of bit of beef behind it, very technical term there, but a bit of beef sort of behind, you know, a bit of weight behind it at the back of the club. So I know it's going to be pretty forgiving on the on this hit because of that. So that doesn't mind, doesn't, um, I don't mind that too much. Some guys may feel like it distracts their eye away from the actual club face here. But as I say, I think when I sit that down, it looks pretty sort of neat in terms of um, that leading edge against the not too much uh, offset there really. So we'll give this first one a hit. Okay, now I struck that really well. That felt amazing. Okay, so that carried around sort of 230s. Yeah, oh, 226 carry running out of 247. That was a really nice fly. I mean, it was quite low. It, was, it looked really penetrating. I'd be interested to see um, sort of spin number that, but that felt really good. Lovely. Little bit low in the face there, but lovely flight. Again, looks really penetrating. Felt pretty forgiving that. Again, 224 carry, 247 run out. Really consistent on those two hits there. Um, and that did feel a little bit low in the face. Not quite as perfect as that first one, yet very little difference of actual distance it's come out. Now, PXG is saying this is the world's, yep, that's right, the world's thinnest face on here. So. Probably expecting some big ball speeds uh, off this particular club. And again, I'm going to be really interested to look at some spin numbers here as well. Right, okay, so those two sort of normal swings I've made on those there. So we'll have a look at those numbers in a bit. 
What I'm just maybe going to do here now is just try and hit some lower ball flights. So again, I'm thinking of scenarios maybe when the game is situation, possibly more maybe those links golf course situations, the windy golf courses where you maybe just want to drop this ball flight down a little bit and hit this more low penetrating shot. And this is a little bit what PXG is saying here with that low forward CG. It's a bit lower launch, a bit lower spinning for that poor penetrating shot. So I'm just going to try and play a few sort of knockdown or as maybe um, you would sort of say some sack stingish sort of shots really. Um, possibly not quite as good as what Tiger Woods can play these but we'll give it a go. So I'm just going to feel like I'm just moving the ball back a little bit, just hit a little bit more down just to get this ball coming out and it's a, it's a, it's a particular favourite shot of mine to sort of hit here. So I'm be, again I'm going to be really interested to see how easily this can be done and how much it can sort of lower this this ball flight here. So we'll give this first one a go. Okay, yeah, again, felt good. We saw it slightly lower though, which is good. Looks like it's gonna run and, and sort of uh, run out a lot more when that hits the ground there. So again, onto those Lynx golf courses or the firmer sort of um, ground golf course, you're gonna see that you know, really run along quite nice there. So hitting that low shot, trying to control it into the wind, let it sort of skip out and run um, when it lands, you know, I think it's a really good option, especially those, maybe those tighter holes off the tee, trying to keep it under that wind. So you'll probably see that last one there, how it, it ran out quite aggressively there when it hit the ground. Definitely launched a bit lower there, and it obviously got a lot more run on it. So. As I say, that uh, linksy sort of environment, you could really get one skipping along that fairway. So I'm going to hit one more sort of uh, low shot here, more of a punchy stinger sort of shot, and then we'll check some numbers out. Oh, that feels so good. It's a great flight. I love that flight. Really looks like it's just going to go straight through the wind there. Yeah, that's just touching over that 252 sort of mark which is which is great you know if I could hit a two iron out with a lot of control it's not getting up there it's coming out that way and it's running out 250 sort of mark you know that's that's that ticks a lot of boxes for me you know as I say I'm a long iron player so um, it sort of fits into my sort of bag this but uh, I do like the fly to that okay really good Okay, so let's go and have a look at some numbers in a little bit more detail and see uh, maybe see those differences between the normal swings and maybe the sort of low punchy sort of shots. Okay, so let's have a look at some numbers here. So we've got ball speed averaging at 145 there. So obviously the first two shots were normal swings. Uh, last two were sort of playing that little, sort of stinger, low stinger sort of shot. So 9.4, 8.7, so it's pretty low launch in there. Uh, for sort of two iron, so it's coming out pretty hot, which is good. Those two spun at three, 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 so really consistent spin numbers. As I say, probably the first one it felt like I struck a bit sweeter, second one's a little bit low in the face. Not a massive difference of ball speed there, which is interesting. See, the, the slightly low in the face has just dropped me launch a touch, but spin stayed the same. So they both carried out 226, 224, running out 247, 246. Then we play the sort of stinger shot, a little knockdown shot. And obviously you can see a difference of launch there. So launch is 5.6, 6.9. So definitely low on that launch. That's a really low launch there. So that is coming out really low. Ball speed, 147, 146. So a bit hotter on the ball speed, probably producing a little bit less uh, dynamic loft there, which obviously drops the launch down, gets the ball speed coming up, and obviously just drops the spin off. So again, 2.9 and 2.9. So really consistent on the spin here between the two shots. Obviously playing different types of shot. So looking at the peak height, so it's 25 yards, 23 yards on the normal swings, 15 and 17 on more of the knockdown shots. So a good sort of 10 to 8, you know, degree, uh, sorry, yards lower in its peak if it's flat. And carrying 222, 223, 255, 252. So again, really consistent numbers there, but providing a very different ball flight for that certain situation, maybe when it's windier. Right, guys, so there we have it. Uh, the, the the 0311X driving iron from PXG there. It's a good favourite of mine that I'd love to get my hands on the one iron. We have actually got one coming as demo, so maybe when that comes I might be just doing another video. Um, I'm guessing that's going to just come out at knee height. Um, so I think if you're looking for that iron off the tee, 
I think you're going to have to have a bit of speed maybe to play with it, otherwise you're possibly going to have to go into more three irons, something a little bit aloft. As I say, the two irons 17 degree, the one irons 15 degree. So, um, you know, if, if you possibly get your hands on one of these or to fit, you, we've got the fitting iron here at uh, Lytham Golf Academy with a few different shaft options. Um, it's maybe you might have to go more aloft to hit the desired flight, depending on your speed. But I think for the guys who are quite strong on speed, they'll probably be able to cope with a two iron and one iron sort of scenario. But I think it'll be a great option for that real penetrating ball flight. You know, I'm quite impressed with that. It's, it's quite a nice, or looks very sort of easy to hit as you present it down by the golf ball. It's obviously got a bit of beef at the bottom there, a bit of forgiveness there. You've got your tungsten weights in there, thin face, got a hollow design. It's forged, it feels soft, and the ball flight looks really strong. Okay, interesting one. Do comment down below and let me, let me know your thoughts on, on the PXG uh, driving iron here. Okay, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Please do hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media platforms if you can. Links are all down in the description. And hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.